Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, Sealand Red Aircraft anticipate first flight. Also, Autel releases lightweight Evo Light and Nano Drones, and NASA's Mars helicopter faces flight delays. Happy Monday, I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. Sealand Aviation anticipates the first flight of their modified DHC-2 Beaver. One of their de Havilland Beavers has been outfitted with a red A03 engine developed by Red Aircraft in Germany. The red A03 is now undergoing checks and calibration and has already been fixed to the airframe. The next steps include the aircraft undergoing further maintenance such as custom-made cowling and the installation of the full authority digital engine control. I see the red A03 engine as the ideal intermediate step in getting to zero emission power of the Beaver and other aircraft, said Bill Alder, president of Sealand Aviation. The lower fuel burn with increased horsepower allows for faster airspeed and bigger payloads. This will keep the Beaver as a viable aircraft for the foreseeable future and lowers the aircraft environmental impact. Red Aircraft explains that de Havilland DHC-2 is an iconic aircraft that has operated as aviation's workhorse in remote regions around the world for many years. Working with Sealand Aviation provides us with a fantastic opportunity to show the world how the Red A03 can transform an established airframe such as the DHC-2 Beaver. Said Enrico Evers, head of sales Red Aircraft, the Red A03 can be retrofitted to older airframes as well. After the break, Beijing declines Boeing purchases for domestic airlines. More on that after these messages. At Diamond Aircraft, innovation is in our DNA. Whether you're taking to the skies for training or business travel, every aircraft in Diamond's lineup features innovative technology, an industry-leading safety record, superior performance and efficiency, and a comfortable flying experience. No other company has pioneered as many aviation firsts, achieved more milestones, or received the same amount of industry praise as Diamond. Discover why Diamond Aircraft is one of the most trusted manufacturers in aviation at diamondaircraft.com. Are you ready to ace your FAA drone pilot knowledge test, get your remote pilot certificate, and start earning money? Well, flying a drone is a great tool that can open up new business opportunities for anyone. Realtor, insurance adjuster, videographer, or commercial weekend drone warrior, you need to fly legally. Whether you're pursuing your initial Part 107 remote pilot certificate, or you need a renewal, King Schools has a course just for you. So start learning today at kingschools.com. Pilot Communications USA is proud to introduce our latest headsets, the Carbon A1 Active Noise Reduction and the Carbon P1 Passive Headset. Carbon Fiber makes our headsets 30% lighter than others, which significantly reduces pilot fatigue. Our Blue Link Hand Control Unit allows you to connect two devices at the same time, and the record out capability can send audio to an onboard camera or digital recorder. Get the headset that's so light you may forget you're wearing one at pilot-usa.com. Welcome back. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we're going to be summarizing some other interesting stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. Beijing declines Boeing purchases for domestic airlines. Chinese government regulators appear to have been barring domestic air carriers from purchase of Boeing goods, alleged Commerce Secretary Gina Raimondo. Chinese airlines want to buy, but their own government is standing in the way, she said in an off-the-cuff comment during a Q&A session. If true, they could be flouting earlier 2020 trade agreements with the former Trump administration to maintain a mutually beneficial relationship between the U.S. and China. Bell Textron Canada celebrates 35 years. Founded in 1986, the Global Centre of Excellence is the Quebecois home for the premier Canadian helicopter development, production and customer delivery is celebrating its 35th anniversary. From its first Bell 206B Jet Ranger to the new Bell 429, Bell Canada has been instrumental to the aviation industry, producing more than 5,600 commercial aircraft now operating around the world, with about a fifth of those remaining in the Canadian market. The Air Show Hall of Fame has a new inductee. In acknowledgement of Kent Peach, 
45 plus years as an airshow performer in his iconic interstate cadet, his unique truck top landings, his entertaining and one of a kind comedy act, his contributions to the pure entertainment of the airshow industry, and his ingenuity and creativity connecting with audiences across North America, Kent Peach will be inducted into the ICAS Foundation Airshow Hall of Fame at the 2021 ICAS convention. A past recipient of the prestigious Art Scholl Memorial Showmanship Award, Peach has a well-deserved reputation as one of the world's most entertaining airshow performers. NTSB heads to 737 dive site. The NTSB is sending a team of investigators to the ditching site of a Boeing 737 cargo jet off the Hawaiian island of Oahu to coordinate the recovery of the wreckage from the ocean floor. Transair Flight 810, a Boeing 737-200 bound for Kahului, Hawaii on July 2nd, reported anomalies in both engines and subsequently ditched into Mamala Bay shortly after takeoff from Daniel K. Inoue International Airport in Honolulu, Hawaii. The two pilots escaped from the wreckage and were rescued. Well, that does it for today's trip around the patch. Now let's return to the rest of the news. Autel Robotics announced their newest evolution in the Evo drone series with the Evo Lite and Evo Nano. The carbon-legged Evo Lite weighs 1.8 pounds and offers a 1-inch CMOS sensor and 4-axis gimbal for its improved camera. Autel notes enhanced night photography using the adjustable aperture and moonlight algorithms. Good for 50 megapixel photos and 6K video at 30 frames per second. The Evo Lite enjoys similar battery life of its Evo 2 and Pro stablemates, an estimated 40 minutes of flight time. The package Evo Nano weighs an even lighter 0.55 pounds, yet brings a half inch CMOS sensor capable of 48 megapixel photos. Integrated autofocus and HDR modes allow for rapid, detailed photos and sharp 4K video at 30 frames per second. The flyweight size still manages a lively 28 minutes of flight and a first-in-its-class obstacle avoidance system, usually reserved for larger, heavier drones. Both models leverage Autel's suite of apps and hardware for content creation, sharing, and direction on the fly. With the Skylink system, users enjoy a transmission range of 6.2 miles and a constant 30 frames per second HD video link with better signal retention than past models. Sky Portrait software allows for dynamic subject following for vehicles, people, or animals in motion. After these messages, NASA Mars helicopter faces flight delays. Those details after the break. Aviation Safety Resources is disrupting the market for aircraft emergency parachute recovery systems. ASR systems are smaller, lighter weight, and offer longer repack cycles than similar products available in the current market. ASR has a recovery system available for every type of aircraft. Sport, experimental, light sport, general aviation, urban air mobility, vertical takeoff and landing, electric propulsion, and unmanned aerial systems. Find the right product for your aircraft at AviationSafetyResources.com. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet, allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit FlySkyleader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. If it looks good, it usually flies good. The Bristel series of aircraft is proof of that. Furthering their legacy of safety and efficiency, Bristel is proud to feature the Rotax 915 IS Turbo in the current lineup of aircraft. The 915 IS Turbo power plant offers more power than ever before in a light sport aircraft. Learn more about Bristel at www.sportflyingusa.com. Welcome back. According to Mars Helicopter Blog, Ingenuity Flight 14 is postponed. Engineers want more time to address small issues in the aircraft as it sits 
more than 212 million nautical miles away. Serving beyond its initial assignment, the probe must compensate for seasonal decreases in atmospheric density by boosting output. A series of ground and vibration tests have been optimistic in addressing the changes, but an anomaly in two of the flight control servo motors prevented a brief September 18th test flight. Rotary wing pilots might shudder to imagine a similar situation. Stranded millions of miles from home, testing extended operation with a needle pegged beyond the red line long after their TBO has passed without a single wrenching hand in sight. The situation is nothing new for a NASA project as many continue to serve long after their expected service life thanks to inherent design and build quality. Previous Mars rovers were sent in 2003 for a planned mission for three months but soldiered on four years afterward. Initially expected to provide a proof-of-concept tech demo before going offline, an extended operation phase has flown almost 200% longer than expected, completing 11 flights. That does it for our show today. I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. You can catch episodes of Airborne on Roku and Fire TV. Just search for Air News or Airborne in the directory. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.